Unit 7, Lesson 7, Comparing Numbers and Distance from Zero. Number 1. In the context of elevation, what would the absolute value of negative 7 feet mean? Its meaning would be 7 feet below sea level. Number 2. Match the statements written in English with the mathematical statements. A. The number negative 4 is a distance of 4 units away from 0 on the number line. That would match with number 4. The absolute value of negative 4 equals 4. B. The number negative 63 is more than 4 units away from 0 on the number line. That would match with number 1. The absolute value of negative 63 is greater than 4 because the absolute value of negative 63 is 63. C. The number 4 is greater than the number negative 4. That matches with statement 5. 4 is greater than negative 4. D. The numbers 4 and negative 4 are the same distance away from 0 on the number line. That matches with statement 6. The absolute value of 4 is equivalent to the absolute value of negative 4. E. The number negative 63 is less than the number 4. That matches with statement number 2. Negative 63 is less than 4. F. The number negative 63 is further away from 0 than the number 4 on the number line. That matches with statement 3. The absolute value of negative 63 is greater than the absolute value of 4. Number 3. Compare each pair of expressions using greater than, less than, or equal to. A. Negative 32 is less than 15. B. The absolute value of negative 32 is greater than the absolute value of 15. C. 5 is greater than negative 5. D. The absolute value of 5 is equal to the absolute value of negative 5. E. 2 is greater than negative 17. F. 2 is less than the absolute value of negative 17. G. The absolute value of negative 27 is less than the absolute value of negative 45. H. The absolute value of negative 27 is greater than negative 45. Number 4. My received and spent money in the following ways last month. For each example, write a signed number to represent the change in money from her perspective. A. Her grandmother gave her $25 in a birthday card. That would be positive 25 or 25. B. She earned $14 babysitting. $14 babysitting would be positive 14 or 14. C. She spent $10 on a ticket to the concert. Spending $10 would be negative 10. D. She donated $3 to a local charity. Donating $3 would be negative 3. Number 5. Here are the lowest temperatures recorded in the last two centuries for some U.S. cities. Temperatures are in degrees Fahrenheit. A. Which of these states has the lowest record temperature? California's Death Valley would have the lowest record temperature as Death Valley's lowest temperature was negative 45. 
and negative 45 is further below zero than any of the other temperatures. B. Which state has a lower record temperature, Florida or Georgia? Georgia's lowest temperature is negative 17 degrees. Florida's lowest temperature is negative 2 degrees. Negative 17 degrees is further below zero than negative 2. Georgia would have a lower record temperature than Florida. C. Which state has a lower record temperature, Connecticut or Illinois? Connecticut's lowest temperature is negative 37, or 37 below zero. Illinois' lowest temperature is negative 36, or 36 below zero. Connecticut would have the lower temperature, as negative 37 is further below zero than negative 36. D. How many more degrees colder is the record temperature for Georgia than for Florida? I created a number line to illustrate this answer. On the right hand side you have zero, or zero degrees. To the left of zero you have negative two, which represents Florida's lowest temperature. Fifteen degrees to the left of negative two, you have negative seventeen, which represents Georgia's coldest temperature. There's fifteen degrees between negative two and negative seventeen. Number six. Find the quotients. A. 24 thousandths divided by 15 thousandths. 24 thousandths divided by 15 thousandths is the same as 24 divided by 15. And 24 divided by 15 is 1 and 6 tenths. B. 24 hundredths divided by 15 thousandths. 24 hundredths divided by 15 thousandths would be the same as asking how many times does 15 go into 240. I've made the 15 thousandths a thousand times bigger and I made the 24 hundredths a thousand times bigger simply by moving the decimal three places to the right. And 240 divided by 15 equals 16. C. 24 thousandths divided by 15 hundredths. I'm going to move the decimal to the right two places to make the 15 hundredths a hundred times larger. So now I'm asking how many times does 15 go into 2 and 4 tenths? The 24 thousandths turned into 2 and 4 tenths because I also needed to make that side a hundred times larger by moving the decimal point two places to the right. In order to keep the division problem the same, if I make one number larger, I'd have to make the other number larger. For example, in this case, I made the 15 hundredths a hundred times larger, so I had to make the 24 thousandths a hundred times larger. 15 goes into 2 zero times, 15 goes into 24 once, 1 times 15 is 15, and the difference between 24 and 15 is 9, bring down the 0, 15 goes into 90 6 times, and 6 times 15 is 90, with 0 remaining, 24 thousandths divided by 15 hundredths equals 16 hundredths. D, 24 divided by 15. 24 divided by 15 is 1 and 6 tenths. Congratulations, you've completed Unit 7, Lesson 7, Comparing Numbers and Distance from Zero. Music